Hi, this is Gopal. Welcome to the short webinar of Beige Region Detection Software. So this software can be run in two mode, interactive mode and batch mode. In interactive mode, user has to click browse button. A small pop-up window will appear, which will look for the location of the images that you want to process. In my case, they are here. User can select one image or multiple image with the mouse select. And software supports different image file formats. So I'm selecting multiple images. Now all the images will be popped up into this list box. And user has to then double click one of the image. Now as you can see, the output will be divided into two sub windows. The first window will just display the original image. Second window will display the white adipose cell area percentage. And the third one will show you the beige area percentage. The user can select different sensitivity threshold, which can vary from 0 to 100 by sliding through this slider. And this will reflect your beige area calculation. As you can see, if you go to the more right, beige area decreases, but you are more confident about the beige area. In the reverse, if you go in left hand side, you get more beige area, but of course the wider confidence interval. So depending on the user requirement and the different experiment, user can select different sensitivity threshold. In my case, I'm happy with, let's say, 22, around 22, yes. And if I want to see how well the sensitivity generalizes to rest of the other images, I just have to double click any of the image to see the output for the sensitivity 22 on that image. So let's say I'm happy with this 22 sensitivity threshold and I want to process all of these images and I want to group them and call it as a group one. So this is where I have to come here with this batch process toolbar. So here the, I have to give the experiment name for this batch. So let's say group one. And I simply have to click a run button. Now it will just process individual image within this list box through this sensitivity threshold. So let's wait till it finished. And it's done. So as you can see in group one, this group one XLS file will be generated. And let's look at the output format. So as you can see, the column names are area cell percentage, meaning that white adipose cell area percentage, beige area percentage, and the similar thing will be computed in the pixel number of pixels, just in case if the magnification changes or the resolution changes. It will also tell you uh, what sensitivity you have, it has been computed, what is the group name for this analysis, and what is the name of individual file name. So this is useful when you want to track an individual file to see if there is an outlier, and then you go back and change the um, and remove that particular file if it is an outlier. So this is uh, how you compute and quantify for one particular batch. Similar thing, you can do it for different groups. Let's say I divide it into group one and group two, and there are images here. So I go back to my software, and I can upload images from group two. And I select all of them, and I want to apply the same threshold, but through batch, I want to give let's say group two as experiment name, and I want to process all of these images using the same settings. So let's wait for this. Yeah, it's done. But if you go to group two, the group two file will be saved, which will have the same 
locations or same features along it. And one can actually join, concatenate group one and group two. And especially if you're using a software like a Spotify, this is very useful. Okay, so this is about the software. Then there is also one issue. For example, in this case, there is an uh, annotation, uh, something like a scale bar. And this would perturb your beige area calculation. For example, if you go back to images of group one, if you import all of them and try to see this image, you can see because of this annotation artifact of the scale bar, the calculation of the beige area is affected. To get rid of this, the easy fix for this one is to crop this particular region and fill that region with black pixels. And that can be done very easily through image chain. So I open my image chain. I go to the location of this image. I open this file. Uh, let's say I open this file. Original scale. And I want to get rid of that. So what I do is I draw this rectangle, small rectangle here, so that it covers this artifact. And I go to this pick color tool, I double click and make sure that the foreground is black. If it is not black, just double click this part and make sure that you all the sliders are at zero. And then go to edit and say fill. So as you can see, the area is filled with black pixels. And then you save this file as JPEG or TIFF or PNG. And you can easily re-import this file into the software so that you do not have this artifact in your base area calculation. So apart from this, one can also do zoom in for a particular location, let's say I draw a rectangle here. Now this will be linked to the rest of the two windows. So user can study carefully which region has not been segmented very well and accordingly change the sensitivity. One can also zoom out. You can also add, actually. This is more useful when you are in zoom mode. So one can also pan it. So to get uh, back to the original resolution, so right click and just say reset to original view. We'll go back to original view. To deselect, click again to the pan view and then you are out of this windows. So I hope uh, this covers the basic usage of the software and I hope it is useful. Uh, one can also uh, get this webinar link by clicking the help tab here we will update the link for the YouTube video uh, where this webinar will be linked. So I hope it is useful and thank you very much.